Yeah. And this is the cow lao. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. That's really. Hey everybody, this is Daniel. Today I'm in Hoi and Vietnam, in central Vietnam with Cartoon. And uh, we're going for some street food. We're going for Khao Lao, which is a Hoi An specialty dish. So there's this restaurant up here. We're gonna give it a shot. Haven't had this dish in almost a decade, so I'm very excited to share it with you guys and also show Cartoon because yep, it is her first time here. Let's do it. All right, so it's nowhere near that alleyway. We totally took a wrong turn. It's up here, it's up here. So we're in the Old Town area and uh, some really, really beautiful architecture. So it's definitely worth exploring if you're you're in Hoi An or even Da Nang, like 40 minute drive or so. All right, I think this one is the correct alleyway. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, all right. So this this place is kind of hidden-ish. Like, you would just randomly roll right by it if you didn't know what you were looking for. It's just right here. So, this is it, I think. Yep, 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 yep. Looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. This is the spot. Yep, this one is what we're looking for. We want the cow lao. And we might get some other stuff. Wow, they have everything. Oh, crazy. Can we sit by the light? Is this way? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's like a little special spot. Uh, I think we can get the cow lao and then also the boom tet nong. These are the two things everyone's saying is pretty good here. Shall we do it? Yeah. All right. We're gonna get that dish I was talking about yeah. earlier, the cow lao. And then... Yeah. And then we're gonna get the yeah. nong too, which is like the grilled pork yeah. on vermicelli. Yeah. Oh, uh, that yeah. looks good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. one. one. Remember me. Or did you want one too? Yeah. Uh, two. 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 <laughs> Uh, they got some ginger herbal thing that looked pretty good as well. Oh. oh, it's tough with the lighting and the, the, like, the hardcore fluorescence, but I mean, I'll do the best I can. There's a window there, but it's uh, like this giant, like, yeah. I may look a little funny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the lighting's so weird. It's not great, yeah. Anyway, anyway. Super excited, super excited. First time Kao Lao for car cartoon. Mine second, but I had it like in the market when I was randomly here 10 years ago and it wasn't really a, you know, a place that was known to try it. It's like a, like a good spot like this. Oh, nice. Mm, this looks good. It's like, all right, let's give it a shot. Oh yeah, it's like lemongrass, ginger, it's really refreshing. Mm. That was good. Very nice. <laughs> and here's the menu for you guys that want to check it out. At the Khao Lao and the Bum Tit Nong, which is the two things that I read that this place was good at. But they also have the chicken rice, which is the Kham Ga, but I think we'll get this at a different restaurant. Uh, but yeah, good stuff. These uh, white rose dumplings are pretty good. We had it yesterday, yesterday for lunch as well. Mm. This is so good. It is really good, right? I gotta find a good angle for you. Yeah. <laughs> that was not gonna be good. <laughs> Stoked. And it's my first meal and I'm starving. So. So they brought us some, some chilies and some limes, like giant chilies. Never seen these actually before. And this is the cow lao. Wow, wow, wow. 
This is the Bontendo. So this you'll often find in just Vietnamese restaurants around the world, but this looks like a very, very good version. I'm very excited because I have a like a platform for a comparison for this dish. Although this I've only had in Hoi Hoi An, so we'll see. Nice big roast pork slices. Wow. Looks good, eh? Yeah. Here we are. Here we are, here we are. Looking pretty good. Nice pork chunks. A little bit of fat on that roast pork. I think they got little like little fried fried chips too. So some textural elements in there. And Oh. Oh. For this? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you, you want to put a, like a big dollop of that on there. Uh, on here? Yeah, like splat it in the middle. So this is like the Hoi An chili sauce. Yeah. It's good for that. Yeah. I'd probably put a little more of this one. So Cartoon's going to get into the Boom Tet No. And then... I'm gonna get into this uh, Kao Lao really quick. Kinda just wanna like, just, 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 look at this roast pork. Mmm. Wow. The sauce is almost like, um, it's like soy base. Interesting. Crispy chips are nice. Like the crispy element is actually present in a lot of food in this area. So if you have if you had like mi wang before that like the crispy rice cracker that goes with, with it too. Alright, with some lime. And I really just want to eat this chili. Just gotta see how it goes. Alright. Okay. That's really effing spicy. <laughs> That's like a Thai chili, but massive. Look at that. I'm glad I didn't take a big bite of that, that one. Seriously, seriously spicy. Okay. Grab a little bit of everything. Herbs. I guess we can see that you already mixed it I up. Mixed it up. Yeah. So I'll let you go for it really quick. Mm -hmm. This video is going to be a little spazzy because we got two dishes, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good? Oh, maybe in this one, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. All right, oh, let's go back to the. Let's go back to the cow lao here. Yeah, there is a humongous amount of fat on these pork slices, though. But all right, nice herbs, got the veg. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Mm. 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 The noodles are interesting. Like the cow lao noodle. I think I'm supposed to put a little chili in this one. I don't know if she would ask. But... Like this Hoi An style chili sauce. It's, it's kind of in every dish. Like if you get the chicken rice, it's you know there and stuff. To this pork. Mm. Oh yeah. Chili paste is good. They're kind of sweet. Alright. There's all the sauce on the bottom. Yeah. So you guys can see it. 
Right, right here. I actually forgot to mix it, so that's probably what's affecting the flavor right now. Yeah, always mix your Vietnamese dishes, guys. <laughs> it's gonna. There's always some kind of magic on the bottom, be it veggies or you know some sauce. There we go. Now it's got some color. Now I was wondering, I was like, there's not much, too much flavor in this. There we go. Now it's all juicy. Mm. Yeah. Careful with these. Sweet. <laughs> Interesting stuff. Very different flavor profiles than what you would think for getting um, food. I'm gonna switch with cartoon now. All right. So here we have the buntin, which is simple enough. Marinated fried pork on top of gong noodles, which is like a, you know, like a rice, round rice noodle. Let's see what they got going on here. And this, this I'm sure you guys have had everywhere because it's available at like every Vietnamese restaurant in the world. But I believe it's a regional thing. Nice piece of pork, some veg. Oh. Ooh. You can see the smokiness on the char on the meat. Holy crap, I can. Like the charcoal or something, it's so smoky and ooh. This is really good. Um, I think if I was just thinking about like straight just flavor and what I like, I think I like this more than the Kalao. Um, but I think Cartoon might like. This the cow lao more yeah. than this one, yep, yeah. So, yeah, so like, Cartoon generally likes like the Thai Chinese type of dishes. So I think the cow lao generally leans more like away from Vietnamese like sharp, herby kind of like flavors, which this has, so. It just kind of de depends what you like, right? So if you want more sharp, more punchy, go for the Bung Tit Nong. If you want more like slow roasted soy, neutral, chewy, new noodles kind of, you know, vibe, then you can go for the Kao Lao. Alright, let's do it. a lot. This is probably the most flavorful Bum I've ever had. Um, it's a little different than the versions you've probably seen where you dump like the fish sauce on it because this has a different sauce. It's not it's not that like Nook Mom you're used to, you're used to. Mm. But I want to go in. A little more of this special hoi and chili paste. And and this is kind of unique to them, like I was saying earlier. So have at it. It's not too spicy, it's a little sweet. It imparts quite a bit of flavor, but be careful with this chili. This is spicy. Ooh. Get that chili paste in there. Yeah. Mm. Mm. 
All right, we've crushed. We've crushed these two dishes. Boom, towel out, done. Boom, tip, no, done. <laughs> but I think it boils down to like which one you want to choose is gonna depend on what you like. If you like sweet and savory, towel out. It's got the chewy nude noodles, it's soy, it's savory, roast pork. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty textural too, actually. So, sweet and savory, you might like the cow lao a bit, a bit more if you like more of that traditional Viet, like, you know, sour, herby, punchy, like, grilled, charcoal, smoky, like, just, then you're gonna like the bung tin over here. Um, like, this, like, poyan sauce, this chili sauce is pretty nice. I mean, I kind of put it in everything, but it's actually not spicy. It's more like, um, it's almost like a Chinese broad bean paste, if you think about that. Um, that's kind of what it leans more towards, rather than like a chili oil or like something like that. Um, what do you think, Tunes? Well, for me, I first, <laughs> find I a good tried, angle. Jesus, it's I so tried bad. this one, right? What is it, Bun Chet Nong? Yeah. And then I was like, oh, this is nice, but after I tried yours, yeah, it's just like you like this the cow cow lao. The yeah. taste and the texture, everything is what yeah. I like. So. Because I you like it. you like like savory and sweet, which is also like the Thai noodle dishes that you like are more this style. So. Oh, and the noodles is reminded me of the red tail noodles. Oh. In Lao Shu Fu. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like in M Malaysia and Singapore, Singapore, yeah. So it's kind of interesting. They, it's like. It's like almost like a recreation of almost the same yeah. like mouthfeel and it's kind of interesting. Yeah. yeah, really nice. It's like the Vietnamese version because if in Singapore and in Malaysia they would they would cook it like shard it, but mm -hmm. this one they just mix it like the you know Vietnamese style that yeah. they would do. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So it's interesting. Oh. Yeah, I think it was a pretty good meal. I mean, these were forty k a pop. Yeah. That's so, that's so Super affordable. I it's, finished it's like two dollars, 60 baht, somewhere in there. 40,000? Yeah. One and a, so cheap. 58 baht, so it's like a dollar 60 for each one. Wow, that's crazy. And this is pretty good too. I would recommend whatever this lemon grass ginger thing is, it's quite nice. Huh? I think overall, pretty good experience. I'm a happy guy, it's a good breakfast, solid recce. So yeah, join uh, join me, there will be more, you know, Hoi An food videos. We got a couple more left. I wanna hit all the specialties. So yeah, I will see you in the next video.